Good afternoon to all. Myself, Lavina Segal from IT Department, IMT College of Engineering, going to represent topic machine learning and its application. Today, we are going to discuss about machine learning. Here we have to discuss what content, what topics we are going to discuss under machine learning and its application. First we introduce about machine learning, then what is the difference between AI, machine learning and deep learning, what is the basic prerequisites for machine learning to learn machine learning code. So what are the different types of machine learning and its application with the implementation of example. So, what is machine learning? According to Herbert Alexander, Simon and learning is an any process by which a system improves performance from experience. If I discuss about what is learning, you can, if you go somewhere, you observe something, you analyze something and by your experience you learn many things and it is easy to teach another person by the experience. Tuning about 1975 has the Nobel Prize in Economics 1978. Machine learning is concerned with computer programs that automatically improve their performance through experience. If I talk about machine learning, machine is also a, a learning process. It is inbuilt program and it is automatically do. Once we install the program and it is automatically learn like human thinking. So, if I discuss more about machine learning in basic terms, machine learning is the process of a training a piece of software called a NOM model to make useful predictions using a data set. The predictive model can then serve up predictions about previously unseen data. We use these predictions to take action in a product. For example, the system predicts that a user will like a certain video, so the system recommends that a video to the user. If I discuss about machine learning, it is basically inbuilt software like Excel, uh, Alexa is working. If I ask to uh, record something, if your phone is asking to record something and it is uh, automatically reflecting, that is called a machine learning process. It is a basic history. Uh, artificial alien intelligence then it comes to the machine learning then deep learning nowadays using we are using artificial intelligence in early stay in early 1950s 1960 and 1970 we were using artificial intelligence concept after that we come to the 1990s about machine learning and logics to furnish the machine learning concept after that we are nowadays how thinking process is increasing if you go to some malls if you are going to detect some criminals if you want to um, go on highway and even toll taxes are detecting the, your faces your uh, taxes your uh, charges whatever they are detecting if you have a chalan they are predicting this all comes under concepts of deep learning so uh, now I'm going to discuss about difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning. Artificial intelligence is the ability of machines to work, think and like a brain. Artificial is basically uh, is a model which is thinking like humans but designed as a machine. AI thinks works very similar to humans as it is designed in a way and in our lives it is not possible until now because there are many features like think like a human brain but works with the help of machine like Roberts, Alexa, so many different uh, equipments are available in the form of artificial intelligence. So. It is basically a predictive analysis. I am here is going to show about the pictorial view of artificial intelligence. Here, how we predictive analyze the thing and how our brain is thinking, how language we are using NLP like classification, translation and data extraction. 
how we can convert our uh, translation english language to hindi hindi to english or spanish or some uh, others also like how we planning and optimize the things how robots is working as a machine in the form of artificial intelligence so next comes to the concept of machine learning which is a part of a part of artificial intelligence machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence as i already told you most of the people consider it's artificial intelligence but it's not true the machines can learn it can think like human being the robots learn themselves from the data provided to them it means when uh, we are something like program if i talking like about just a washing machine we have a touch screen there we have inbuilt the whole program uh, in um, washing machine if we are speaking something it will work like that it means machine is working and thinking like a human being the technique use the algorithm to get data learn and then analyze the data the results came in the form of predictions you may have noticed when getting recommendations on shopping sites like google we also speaking and it is recognize our language and giving our search content according to our interest machine learning is the tendency of machines to learn from data analytics to achieve the concept of artificial intelligence new machine learning algorithm were limited to basic ai but now it has become an essential part of its system many complex algorithms are prepared to give you better experiences it has turned the way of watching shows and movies the entertainment industry is using the algorithm providing suitable suggestions and now you have seen in amazon prime also the movies are uploading machine learning is the concept of analyzing your data and offer excellent recommendation based on learning process you are asking the questions you are getting your search answers and machine work like according to your human brain companies there are so many companies who are using the concept of machine learning the amazon uh, linkedin evo netflix so glass quarter google advertising there are so many now next we come to the main concept deep learning which is a subset uh, uh, first is artificial intelligence then machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence and deep learning is a subset of machine learning which is based on artificial neural networks in hospitals you have seen so many case studies so many cases of patients you have seen uh, of deep learning the learning process is deep because the structure of artificial neural network consists of multiple input output and hidden layers each layer contains uh, entities that transform the input data into transform the next layer we can use for a certain predictive task if i uh, if i say earlier if we are using the surveillance and police were there there so many criminals are crossing from the road it would be difficult for uh, predicting the particular face of the criminal if if i discuss intelligence officers what they are doing in forensics they are uh, install the whole data of a particular city or a particular state of all the criminals your master data is available they are matching already machine is matching automatically and determine the criminal in similarly if you are going in malls if you are going to the to passing the toll tax it is mainly your check the speed of your car your if there is any criminal passing through they will automatically detect this the basic concept of your day planning so next comes to the pre request and pre work means what are the pre request is for designing your applications of what are the the requirements for working on ai machine learning right 
ministry of inter level algebra you should be comfortable with variables and coefficient linear equations graphs of functions and histograms you should have the knowledge of your variables coefficient squares you should be know each and a programming point of view you should be proficient in python programming to work for machine learning there are functions of definition sentences list conditional expression pandas we can use for column oriented data analytics for machine learning so it is the basic python programming basics cover the right now next comes to the types of machine learning machine learning can be categorized into supervised unsupervised and reinforced supervised it is the task driven technology and unsupervised it is data driven reinforced algorithm based supervised like a teacher or your professor is supervising the students for learning and they are teaching the subjects according to the experience unsupervised when some particular data are is given to the students and they ask to the survey for that and reinforced if you have given some algorithm designing supervised learning machine learning takes data as inputs let us call this data training data for example you suppose you are an mr but is determined to differentiate de between two spices of the limited plant chain is a complete made up of plant two spices look pretty similar fortunately a um, botanist has put together a data of which has found your c less snippet of the data set live with is there and you have seen live with this still now what is the goal live width and leaf length are the features of a particular leaf while the species is the labor a real life botanical data if we want to detect particular width it's also a, and the supervised machine learning means you are learning about your field features of a particular leaf length big leaf small leaf uh, graphically we can show final graph is there nutshell unsupervised learning in unsupervised learning the goal is to identify meaningful patterns means uh, you have to given the particular patterns and from that patterns you have to detect the particular algorithm of you have to detect the particular uh, patterns you have to detect suppose in the by fast uh, about uh, corn clips like of uh, in c++ program so many diamonds uh, our diamond structure is there we are recognizing the patterns we are doing for programming for that like these are the patterns this is the sun super wise learning we don't have this is the clustering we are doing here Reinforced learning is based upon uh, algorithm-based learning. Here it is an environment how action is performing under the environment of the state. So, so many examples are there. And like you are playing 3D games, you are performing how you are performing in chess, Ludo, 3D games. People are staying apart. So, reinforced learning. include three parts agent which is assumes an entity actions in an environment to gain some reward environment is a scenario an agent which you have to face reward an immediate return given to an agent which he or she performs specific action or task state performs the state current situation of the environment it means like here i am working as an agent delivering my lecture and teaching to the teaching to you guys about learning supervised similarly a robot is also working as a agent who is serving the delivery to you 
in uh, hotels and in hospitals there are so many advanced technologies are coming robot technologies for predicting or diagnosis the patient some terms clustering classification and regressions are included in unsupervised learning clustering is typically done when labeled data is not available uh, this is an unsupervised learning pro pro problem Classification requires a set of labels for the model to assign to a given item. This is a supervised learning problem. Regression requires label numeric data, which is a supervised learning problem. There, here we have seen. You can see application of machine learning, organizing computing clusters. Right social network analysis and also astronomical data analysis market segmentations. You in daily basis you are using these applications nowadays. Virtual personal assistant. This is an example of Alexa. Allows surveillance is also a supervised learning video surveillance, social media services, spam malware, product recommendations. Now, PayPal has to take the fraud detection. If I give example, uh, fraud detection, uh, sometimes uh, you get a call from a layman who is asking to transfer your money and asking about OTP and your bank automatically detects about that. It's a work, uh, major example of uh, application of your machine learning, fraud detection of criminals to protect money of their clients, right? Thank you, is there any question you may ask?